Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you what I do for fly and bug um, preventative or treatment here on my homestead in Florida. It is summer, it's hot, it's muggy, there's standing water, we get flies, we have a chicken coop. Um, so we get mosquitoes. We were having a big mosquito issue um, at our house. So I've tried everything. I've tried, um, you know, diatomaceous earth in the coops. I've tried um, all sorts of things. Those things you hang up with the bags with the smelly thing, but then it's smelly. And I'm like, I don't know if the chicken coop is smelly or if the bag is smelly. I mean, it was working, but then it was just, there was too many flies. It just wasn't working. That wasn't working at all. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you, let me, let me turn you around. I'm going to show you what I did. And this has not taken all the bugs away, but it has significantly, significantly changed our yard and the bugs that we were dealing with. So let me, let me show you here, here, here. Look, look, look. So this is it. I got the deluxe bug zapper at my local Lowe's, I think, or Home Depot. When are the two? I think they were at both. There was one that was a little bit smaller than this, and I went with the big one. Um, I like that it could run for 24 hours, and that's the setting I have mine on now. Um, you can just hang it, you hang it up in a tree 20 feet from your back porch or your chicken coop and it really, really takes care of the bugs. It's really amazing. I gave it a couple days before I saw any big results, but it literally, seriously guys, it's great. Let me show you where it is in my yard. So here it is, obviously, we're going to run this extension cord better, but we wanted to see how well it worked. So it's run over to my house. My chicken coop is over here, my back porch. And then I have this tree that it is in. And you can see there's buggies in here. And all you do is you unplug it, give it a couple shaky shakies, and the bugs fall out and the chickens honestly have been here eating all the bugs. It's kind of crazy that they already figured out that all the bugs get zapped and fall down here and they eat them. So the chickens have been loving it. They escape their thing. So that's another story. But this is it. It is set on a 24 hour setting. So it is on all of the time. I haven't seen an issue with it. It is far enough away from the tree where I wouldn't have to worry about it catching on fire or doing anything like that. But I really like it. You can do it on just at night. Um, or you can set it on just in the day. There's like a little switchy thing up here that allows you to, to do that. So that's it and it's working really well. We're actually gonna probably run this cord up the tree down and along our back fence and we have a plug back at our um we have a water softener back there so we're gonna probably run it back there so that it's not in the middle <laughs> make mowing our lawn a little difficult but we're gonna run it differently but right now this works so I just keep it plugged in all the time and it really it really helps and once it's plugged in, it's automatically on. So there's not an on and off switch. You just unplug it to get it to stop. And then there's our dogs. It's dog life, right? All right, so that's what we have going on. I've seen a lot of threads on some of the local um, chicken people pages. And um, a lot of people's ideas of what to do to help with the bugs this time of year. It's summer, it's hot, there's rain, there's water, there's going to be bugs. You have chickens, it's kind of inevitable. But I've really found that this bug zapper, gold, gold, worth every bit of the, I think, want to say $50 that I spent on this, but worth it. 100% worth it, wonderful, great, 
wonderful. Check it out. I'm going to link it below. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Check me out on Homestead Mama on Instagram where I try to post on a pretty regular basis. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!